guys what's up and welcome back to my channel today we are going to talk about eye primer versus concealer on the lids as your primer so if that is something that sounds of interest to you then please you know what to do just keep on watching talk about or this is a gonna be a quick video okay, we're gonna talk about concealer versus eye primer for eye primer if you are 30 years of age or 35 years of age coming my way you know being mature over the hill um, you really want to use an eye primer. Um, when I first started out, it was concealer and it was the shape tape. Um, and I used that for a very long time um, until um, I tried the ABH and the P, P, P Louise um, eye primer. Um, so I started out with those when I first stopped using concealer. Now the reason why I stopped using concealer is because every time I would do my look, my eyes would be so crepey and cakey and lines. You could see lines everywhere. So I didn't like that and you know, we want to you know, try to appear a little younger than what we actually are. Um, some kids are trying to look older. <laughs> Why on earth, you know, I tell my granddaughters, enjoy your time being young. You don't want to be old. <laughs> I'm telling you, you'll miss it because I miss it. So, um, when I tried the Gerard Clean Canvas, it changed my life. I, I'm, I'm being honest here. Um, this is the best eye base I have ever used. Um, and I stay true to this eye base because it is that good. Um, I'm not going to put concealer on one eye and this on the other eye because I know for a fact that concealer does make your lids look older and when I first put this on um, it just it made my eyes look so smooth and I was so in love in love now I have tried um, the Urban Decay this one is uh, like it's it's opaque so you're not going to get much color out of this um, you can see there it's very sheen um, but it's okay it, it's okay um, and then the ABH is like a, a really it's nice I like the way that it lays down and the way that it looks but over time it gets a little um, So this is that one and it is almost white it's a good color for between white and fair the P Louise eye base is good um, and the M -M -M Mitchell but those I feel are too thick for me um, you don't want a thick eye base on your eyes because the more thicker it is the more creasing you're going to get, the more crepiness you're going to get. So, um, you just have to find the right eye base for you. And um, I have found mine. 
the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base. We have four colors. Um, we have white, fair, medium, and cocoa, and all skin types can wear every shade. Um, so I am going to put on my color fair, and I love these little AOA brushes. This is the AOA E113. Um, these are perfect to put on your eye base. Now the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base is a little thin and a little liquidy. And you know, there's no big deal to that because you know, even though it's thin, it you can really get a good base down with this and your eyes just look so smooth so a little bit goes a very long way um, I you can use this as concealer you can use this as um, to clean up around an eye look um, I know I use it all the time to do my cleanups um, all the time so there is that and then I like to take the Morphe M173 brush this is something that I started doing when I was using the concealer and I just love this brush so much for tapping in my concealer and letting it set I do not put powder on my concealer um, I don't have to this concealer does it all. I'm telling you, if you want a one and done, this is the one. <laughs> and um, it just makes my lids look so smooth. Now, if you have to, if you have to um, put powder over your eye base it's not a good base I will tell you that um, because if you're having to powder your base your eye base that's going that's adding more on top of your lids just like underneath your lids you don't want to add a bunch of stuff underneath or on top because the more you put on there the more creasing the more cakey the more all that is going to happen. Um, so if you are having to powder your base, it's not that good. And I've even heard big er channels like Robert Welsh, he's my favorite, um, talk about this too. Um, you know, he says if you're having to powder your your eye base, that um, it's no good. And two, that's just add more on top of mature lids. So I am going to start up here and come down. And you can also use a beauty blender to blend this out if you like. You don't have to get these brushes, but this is what I've always done and it's worked for me. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Now I did moisturize my eyes before um, I put on my eye primer probably about 30 minutes ago. Um, but this is the eye base. Now, if you would like to try this eye base, I will leave a link down in the description. Um, 
and if you use my code Belinda MUA you can save 30% off of this iBase so that's a really good savings it is an affiliate link so I do make a little bit of commission from that but that just um, helps me put thing money back into my channel um, to have content for you guys here so um, I guess that is going to be the end of this video um, if you have any questions about eye primers um, please put them down in the comments um, if there's anything that you are needing help with and want to learn about please put it down in the comments um, I do answer my comment section and um, I'll do a video on it for you if needed so um, yeah all right guys I am going to jump off here and do another video for you guys so I if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to this channel and you like makeup and beauty related content from a mature southern woman from the south then please hit subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss a beat and I will see you in the next one stay blessed